Hey everyone, it's Wake Angel 2001 just taking advantage of some natural light. Uh, uh, I'm going to keep this brief. This is the video where I'm going to read all those comments from the people that uh, chose their favorite custom of 2020. Um, now, if I let this video go on too long, it's going to be a pain to edit, so let's just go ahead and get to the comment reading. My favorite of these toys in the picture are the Gamma Toy and the Death Egg Robot slash Final Boss of Sonic 2. Uh, I don't know why I read it with that intonation. I think uh, the fact that there's a picture of a door bat there kind of made me think that. My favorite is the Lucas the Mink figure and Dr. Starline. I may be a little biased towards my pick, but I actually like the way these look. Yeah, well, they did use your models to look as good as they do, so that's perfectly understandable. My favorite is the new Chaos Zero you made. Looked incredibly well proportioned and accurate. Yes, and next time I'll figure out how to make the brain look better. I like Night Sonic because of the story behind it, and Gamma. Don't get enough robot characters. Um, and yes, I did a sh I didn't show that he meant Excalibur Sonic when he said Night Sonic. You gotta remember that when you're talking about the medieval type of knight, you have to put a K in there. My fave was Soap Sonic, but that's because I've watched you since I was a kid, and I'm so hyped about finally getting a figure from my idol as a kid. It is kind of weird to think that I've been at this for 10 years and there are people who are legal adults now who literally grew up watching me. That's still kind of a bizarre thing to think about. All of the bots, all of your takes on Rouge and Cosmo. May you have a happy new year. Ah, oh, thanks. And um, that was kind of a big pool, so when I made a character more than once, I just tried to pick a representative of it. Although it still had multiple Rouges up here because there's legitimately like three different costume variants. Four if you count the Amy Rouge meme. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a nice little selection you picked. Although uh, I, would I would prefer if you guys try to keep it down to one, but eh, what am I saying? It's not like I can tell you to do it now. The video's up. Can I just buy all of these? I appreciate the enthusiasm, but um, a lot of them, you know, were specifically made for other people and I don't have them anymore. I do have some of them, but the ones that I kept are actually quite precious to me. I'd happily make another one for you though, so, you know, that's always an option. I really like the Amy Rouge clothes swap figures. I've seen fan art of it, so it's super cool to see them as a figure. Yes, I really like that one too. In fact, that was one of my most popular submissions of the year, so much so that a fan actually paid a voice actress to dub their lines in. So, you know, if you want to go back and watch that video. Uh, but yeah, I really did uh, enjoy getting into the memeing. And uh, don't worry, because I will be getting into some more memes in 2021. As much as I love IDW, I love your Angle the dog. I just think he's so cute. Funny, considering I didn't think he could make a Forces avatar cute. Hmm, this kind of triggers my pet peeve of people who can't spell my name right. It wouldn't be so bad except that angle is its own word, which represents a significantly less cool thing than what my actual name of Angel does. It's just, I, I know it's not your fault, but you know, guys, check, check your spelling. From my customs, I'd say I like DJ Octavio, the octopus, the most. Outside my commission, since, you know, bias, I really like that Chaos Zero you did this year, since although you've done the character before, I feel this time you really did them justice. Hey, there's no shame in voting for the ones that you actually commission. That's a perfectly valid option. I mean, after all, like, they were the ones that were made for you, so of course they're going to go up there and be in your favorites. Uh, but yeah, that DJ Octavio was quite the unique piece, and it is the physically largest thing I ever 3D printed, and is in fact one of the largest things that it's possible for me to, to 3D print because it seriously maxed out my printer's area. I wouldn't have been able to make them any bigger. I like the comic Sally you made, because I like it. And Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you too! And I really like Sally too. If I had to choose one figure, it'll have to be the Jack Scaled Rouge the Bat figure, because it's your best Rouge the Bat custom you've made so far. Well, yeah, I gotta admit, that is a pretty good one. I mean, she's a lot bigger than usual, so I was able to get in some more details there that normally would be kind of tough to capture. I have to say Starline personally because it introduced me to a lot of characters I didn't know existed in the IDW universe. I also love Midnight and Abri a lot, but that's because of bias, haha. <laughs> you really brought my teenage drawings to life. 
And that, my friends, is why I do this. I mean, I know, like, a while ago, like, I think it was Inside Gaming or something did a countdown of the worst things, and it's like, uh, the worst Sonic character is your fan character. And, um, and I kind of proudly wore the title of History's Greatest Monster for basically bringing the Deviant Artoses to the physical world. <laughs> but hey, I'll wear that hat. After all, we can't always be the hero. Happy New Year, Wake Angel 2001! It's very difficult for me to choose just one figure you made this year to be my absolute favorite. But if I had to choose at least one, I'd pick Dr. Starline because you made him look just like he came out of the comics as a figure. The 3D printed shoes and glove with the warp topaz are accurately described. Overall, the visual design was well crafted onto the figure. Oh wow, that, well first of all, Happy New Year to you too, and uh, that's a very well thought out and written little paragraph there. Um, yeah, great comment, like uh, very, very well put together, don't normally see that in the YouTube comments. Dave the Intern, I'd say it really came out of nowhere, but a worthwhile addition, as he was probably given the most character in Sonic Boom. The figure itself was really good as well. Yeah, Dave the Intern, I kinda love that guy, I mean, He's basically just like, even though he's supposed to be a teenage character that is, wait, wouldn't he technically be the same age as Sonic? I mean, he's supposed to be like some pubescent teenager, right? Sonic is 15. Or is Boom Sonic older than the proper universe Sonic and he's older than Dave? Or is Dave older than him and he's upset that Sonic is living his best life while he's stuck having to work this crappy part-time job? Yeah, wow, you know what? You're right. Dave the Intern really did have a lot of deep character development if you think about it. I like the Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic, but the Gamma and Starline customs look cool. I knew it. I knew that the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic was going to be somebody's favorite. I mean, it's just those shoes, man. They're so popular. But you know what? I was a I was like um a teenager at the time when Sonic came out. I was like 16 or 17 years old, I believe. And um Nobody wore those soap shoes, despite how heavily advertised they were in, this, in Sonic Adventure 2. You know what I think it was? It's because they didn't make the specific soap shoes that Sonic was wearing. I guarantee if they put these red shoes out at a regular retail, and not just like the five pairs that they made for promotion that were never released to the public, then I can guarantee that a lot more people would have been wearing them. I like Debris. The one you made for Dominique, because not only that you completed the team, but the concept and character design, in my opinion, looks original for the Sonic universe. You know, I, I decided to put the picture of Abri's whole team up because, um, you know, he did mention the completed team, so I figured where else am I going to put this in. But yeah, those are some pretty well-designed fan characters, and if there's nothing I like making more than official toys, it's uh, making some really well-defined, designed fan characters. I like Shade and Mephilus. Short and sweet, but yeah, that was a really cool Mephilus that I made. I'm particularly proud of the feet. And I really like Shade too, because like I said, Euclidean ideal of a Sonic fan character. I mean, he has everything. So yeah, those are two very easy choices. Uh, geez, I'd say it's either Sad I Am Tales or Adventure 2 Supersonic. Um, I thought, I thought that G's was supposed to be spelled with a G, not a J. Then again, I don't think it's a real word, so who's to say how it's supposed to be spelled? But yeah, those are two very good uh, choices. I mean, hey, first of all, there's another cameo of the famous Soap Shoe again, hardy har har. And, um, well, you know, when else am I ever going to bring up Sad I Am Tales? Like, uh, this particular incarnation of Tales, which is distinct from anything from the video games. Um, yeah, those are, those are two really fun choices as well. Mina is my fave for sure. Yes, Mina. A character that I really feel like I should have gotten to so long ago, but the opportunity just never came up until she ended up getting commissioned. Uh, but you know what? Yeah, she did come out really good, and I was particularly proud of that one too. I think my favorite is Excalibur Sonic. Yep, you know what? That is a totally valid choice, because Excalibur Sonic is freaking awesome. And I could tell that a lot of people really liked him, especially since someone actually liked him enough to send me that um, that resin-printed Excalibur to go with it. That's like, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I like it, and I'm glad that you guys like it too. I'm such a huge fan of your Jack Pacific Soap Shoes Sonic, 
It truly reconnects me to my childhood whenever I see you customize those shoes on the blue blur, even in your past commissions. My first introduction to Sonic was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and the shoes he wore in that game make me feel like the little six-year-old in front of his GameCube. You hold such high regard to these characters, this community, and the craftsmanship you place in every one of your videos. It's why I was so compelled to voice for you, and I'm so glad you enjoy the intro I dubbed in your honor. It means the world to me to hear it in your videos, and the kindness you gave in response to it. You're way past cool, your creations are out of this world, and I hope you know that. I I just don't even know what to say to that, really. I mean, I was, I was sitting in front of this microphone for quite a while trying to come up with something profound to respond to that, but I really got nothing. Um... Although, there does seem to be a magic number of six uh, between me and Sonic. For you see, I was also six years old when I played the first Sonic game. Of course, that was the actual first Sonic game that came out on Genesis. I got it on my sixth birthday, which was only a few months after the game itself had been introduced. And, uh, and when Sonic Adventure 2 came out, I was 16 for Sonic's 10th anniversary. Uh... So yeah, it was a big special moment for me too. I remember I spent almost 20 consecutive hours playing that game because I was really, really into it. And, you know, I, I happened to have time off school at the time. Like, ah, I mean, I'm, I'm really glad you appreciate me, man. I'm gonna, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to move on before I start crying or something. Definitely that death egg you made for me is my favorite, especially for those 3D printed parts. Also unbiased. Hey, you know what? I was actually really proud of making those 3D printed parts for the Death Egg robot, so if that's your favorite, that's a perfectly valid choice, even if it was made especially for you. In fact, that probably makes it a better choice. I've gotta say Excalibur Sonic. Solid choice? Excalibur Sonic was one I was particularly proud of, too. Gamma. Not only is he the best character, he got the best toy customizer to make him. Well, you know, I wouldn't say the best cu toy customizer. I'm Certainly one of the more prolific ones out there, but yeah, that, that Gamma was something special. I remember, like, all the time I took just to print his parts out, let alone paint and assemble them. My favorite is Deke Tails. Ha! <laughs> Deke Tails. Um, I don't know what I like better about this figure. The fact that he's made from a Mega Constructs Patrick Star? The fact that it's the first time I ever actually made a Tails based off of the old cartoon look? Or, um... The fact that, aside from the Patrick Star base figure, I also used a really poorly made knockoff Tails as the base, and, you know, pulled it off as well as I did. I don't know, like, this is a, this is a really interesting and unique build for me. Um, hopefully, my next classic Tails will be even better. My fave? Uh, well, am I allowed to say anything using a Mega Constructs figure as a base? Because that's kind of legit genius, finding something straight out of left field that fits so well with Sonic proportions. Uh, yes, uh, so basically he just voted for 13 figures out of the out of last year, because... Um, and also note that besides Tails, they're all girls. Uh, that's because, um, like, female Sonic characters do tend to have slightly more human proportions, and, uh... Well, whereas uh, male Sonic characters tend to have, like, that old jelly bean body going on. Uh, although, I do believe that I can conceive of a way that I can start to make male Sonic figures using at least some of the Mega Constructs bucks. Um, I'm going to start experimenting with that very soon, so hopefully it'll work out okay. Uh, but until then, like, um, it's always easy to make a female character, so that's, that's something. Alright, so, um, that was the final comment, uh, and I guess, uh, ending with a picture that has so many different characters on it, actually, is kind of a fitting way to end this little countdown list. I want to thank you all who commented, and even more so, thank everyone who watched the video, uh, because, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, I really wouldn't be doing this. Well, I probably would be doing this, but I wouldn't have been creating anywhere near as many amazing creations per year. So, um, here's, to, here's hoping that 2021 is just as good a year for making toys, and is a better year in general. <laughs> uh, but for now, it's Wake Angel 2001's time to sign off.